This camp is unique in the fact that it's one of the older camps on the lake. There's a lot of camps that have been worked on, rejuvenated, new buildings put up, but we still have our old tent platforms that have been added onto. A lot of the original structures from the turn of the century are still here. And uh, just the feel of it, it's just, it's very unique. I've been at Camp Woodmere for 29 years now. We have 23 structures on the property. That would be wood sheds, pump houses, my shop, boat houses. We have four buildings on the water. And a little island there, Chicken Island, off my left shoulder. That's ours. Camp Woodmere encompasses 32 acres, the compound, and then Woodlot, going all the way back to Bear Pond. Robert Garrett was the original owner, and he was in the first modern Olympics in Athens. And he had a business, I believe, called Robert Garrett and Sons. His father owned a B&O Railroad. The Garretts purchased this camp around 1883 and started to put structures on it. The people across the lake are from Philadelphia, they're newspaper people. Uh, the Vanderbilts were on this lake. It's a lot of big money. The Rockefellers are about six miles away. So that was the type of clientele that came up to vacation up here. You usually land at the boathouse where all our canoes and guide boats are kept underneath. It's, it's like a pavilion style boathouse. It's a big open ceiling. This is where the parties are, the cocktail parties. Usually originate out here and then before dinner they'll go inside to the dining cabin. And the dining cabin, that's attached to a full kitchen area. And then when you leave there, you walk up the concrete stairway and you're coming up towards the main cabin, which will be on your left. And that is, I believe, the oldest building out here. That was built turn of the century. It's an open garden area, two banks full of flowers, a staircase going down the middle, a big lawn, and the cabins go in a horseshoe around that. So as you walk down after the main cabin, there's a little cabin we call the boat cabin, just because of the motif inside of it. And then you come up to a boardwalk, and those three cabins on the boardwalk were original tent platforms that have been converted, uh, closed in windows, screened in porches, uh, dressing room, bathrooms on them. And then there is, after that, there's uh, cabin four, which is a full screened in cabin. Has a dressing room and a bathroom, but no walls. When you sleep, it's just fully screened in, so it's like you're, you're camping, so that's really neat. And then further down on the walkway, there's cabins five and six, and they're attached. So it's good for a family with parents and they want to be separate from the kids but yet still be with them. Down the other way, if you make a left, is a granddaddy's dock and office, an octagon office building with leaded glass and people go down there and read and you want a seclusion and tranquility, that's the building to go to. If you're interested in a really genuine Adirondack camp, I mean the feel, the real deal, this is it you're not gonna get anything more genuine than this. It's been owned by one family for 125 years, and now it's up for sale, so it's, it's unique. It's unique. It's, a, it's the real deal, it's genuine.